season. When former Knights coach Mirko Bozic arrived from Croatia last week, he said he was no miracle worker. And ahead of another Melbourne derby, the 64-year-old admits there's no way the Knights will make the finals. We have a chance no. between now. We have to be realistic. Impossible. Indeed, it would take a spectacular chain of events to catapult the Knights into the championship six. What seems to be more of a focus is to plan for next season and ensure the club has a future in a probably revamped NSL. I think uh, the club has, has, has come to a turning point and uh, it's important that we make the right decisions and that we uh, go forward together, you know, look to the youth a bit and, uh, you know, still probably hold one or two experienced players uh, for the future. Ironically, Horvat himself represents the old guard of Knights players. Former coach Andrew Marth is another who could find themselves out in the cold as the club experiments with youth. On the positive side of things, youngsters like talented Solomon Islander Henry Faoroto will benefit from more playing time. I see that as an opportunity for me, you know, especially um, for our first year in the NSL. It has been a good year. I've learned a lot from different coaches, from Premier League up. It's been a learning year for me and I've seen myself progressing as well. The future for South Melbourne, however, is now. The team is in the thick of the finals hunt and aiming for yet another good postseason run. Although South has no more home games here at Bob Jane, where they only lost once during the season, Coach Danny Wright believes a trip to Knight Stadium won't necessarily be a daunting task. This is like a home game for us. Players know this ground well. Uh, you know, there'll be plenty of support here for us as well. Hopefully our, our fans will get along and, uh, and create a good atmosphere. Although South has scored just seven goals in its last eight games, it will be encouraged by the fact that the Knights have the league's worst defense. From under-17s to the Socceroos. Steve Horvath has seen plenty of good and bad in his 14 years in the game. From captaining his country and winning an NSL title to having World Cup qualification snatched from beneath his boots. Now, after much deliberation, the Melbourne Knights defender has decided to call it quits. I sort of wanted to leave on my own terms. I uh, wanted to decide when I thought I'd had enough. Um, you know, that the motivation is not really there anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, it's... I never wanted to be one of those old players to deny a young kid having a chance. Horvat's career has mirrored the fortunes of soccer in this country. He's played for the Melbourne Knights during their glory years and now in less certain times. He spent three years in Croatia with glamour club Hajduk Split. And he was part of the ill-fated Carlton venture. But most importantly, he was in the Socceroo squad that lost to Iran on that unforgettable November night in 1997. In fact, Horvat's involvement is something that often comes up among fans, whether he was ultimately responsible for the game-tying goal. Horvat is not afraid to talk about this and has done so on many occasions, but he refuses to let it torment him. I think we've got to get beyond that. I think if I, I sort of hark back on to we have to learn from our mistakes yep. and, you know, take the game forward and not sort of dwell on the past. We have this, uh, like you said, obsession with, uh, with what's gone wrong, uh, but we don't seem to do the right things to put it, put it right. Horvat's other memorable soccer experience was just as shattering. He captained the underman team that recently lost to New Zealand, costing Australia a berth in the Confederations Cup and an infusion of cash. Financially, it's a bad thing to have, have happened to Australian soccer, but I'm hoping it's, it's a learning lesson that, you know, the people that run the game will uh, take heed of and, you know, something that we won't let happen again. It's an interesting time for retirement with Australian soccer on the verge of reform. Horvat intends to spend time with his young family and his successful business in Geelong. But the 31-year-old wants to remain in the game in some capacity and still believes his first love, the Knights, have a place in a revamped league. Things are looking on, on the up at the Knights. You know, as long as we can keep it together, um, you know, obviously work with whatever reform is going to come about and, uh, you know, do well for the future.